Welcome to Storytime Thursdays with 10 Ducks and a Dog. Today we'll be reading Wanda Gets His Name. I hope you enjoy the story. He was only a few days old, though the tiny little duckling didn't understand the passage of time. He understood that he was warm. The soft, warm light bathed the little place he cuddled in. He understood the other tiny duckling that had a hard time walking and the tiny turkeys chirping with him. He did not fully understand the hands that held him or the soft, off-key voice that sang to him. Hush, little duckling, don't say a word. He especially didn't understand when the hands were gone. The little duckling didn't really understand missing something, but somehow he did miss the warm cuddles and the singing. The duckling didn't know how time passed, but he looked for the face of the woman sometimes, for the strange blue eyes he had stared into. He wondered if he'd ever see her again. Hey guys! The little duckling wasn't as little anymore, and he waddled around the green grass under the beating sun. The turkeys were gone now, leaving the ducks to grow together. He looked at the voice, feeling a sense of remembering. The woman came into the fence and sat on the grass. The other ducklings chirped in alarm, scurrying away from the woman. The little duckling spotted a bug and ran after it. Hush, little ducklings, don't say a word. He knew that song. He stopped his hunt and looked at the woman. She held out a handful of food, and he nervously took a few nibbles. With a surprised chirp, he found himself in her hands, staring into the strange blue eyes he knew. Do you want to come home with me? She asked him softly. He didn't know what that meant, but he liked this strange creature. She stroked his head. What should, we, what should your name be? Do you like Wanda? He didn't know what Wanda meant either, but he did like it. He liked it a lot. And that is the end of Wanda Gets His Name. Thank you for tuning in for Storytime Thursdays, and I hope you have a great day.